Hey guys, it's the Interior Auto Mechanic. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a window regulator from a 2003 through 2008 Toyota Corolla. Uh, and this is for the rear doors. This would be the same on the passenger side or on the driver's side. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, it'll be real straightforward with what you need. Uh, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket, a quarter inch ratchet or if you're using 3 8 drive that's perfectly fine as well but just get you a 10 millimeter socket to go with that and a phillips head screwdriver so obviously i've already got my door panel off and if you don't have yours off and you're needing to work on things inside of here go watch my other video i'll link that down in the description first that will show uh how how you take the door panel off and how you get to this step so if you've already got to this step you're going to have this plastic shield all the way around. You want to be gentle with this because this actually does do a few things. Um, keeps water out of your car, out of the inside of the door. Actually, we'll let it run down if anything gets in here. And then also, kind of actually detons sound just a little bit. So you just want to pull up all the way around just to where you can, when you put this back together, you can just push it back down and it looks like it's back to stock. It's never going to be perfect because a robot installed this. But anyway, so we're going to need to pull this up and around just like this. And I've already pulled on mine, so it came up pretty easy. Yours is going to be stickier. And anyway, we can come right up here. And this is for the passenger side rear door. The driver's side is going to look very similar to this. You're going to have four 10 millimeter bolts right here. We can start here. I've, like I said, got these out already, so just makes the video easier. Got a 10 millimeter here, another one here, another one here, and then also another one here. Now that one there, you do not want to remove fully. Uh, this is actually slotted, so I'll show you why they do this here in just a minute. Um, but after that, after you take all, basically these three out, this one here is fighting me by hand, uh, but leave this one in uh, maybe three or four turns still just to where it will lift up from the metal here just enough to where you can slide it forward and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute after that you're going to come over here and you've got three Phillips screws that are holding this little bracket plate in go ahead and take those out and that will let you be able to move this bracket and Pause with me for one second. I've got to get this one bolt removed. Okay, so I got that other bolt removed. And what you'll see what I'm talking about here is you'll be able to slide this up and around. Now, before you can do this, though, you're going to need, and this is off a little bit because I've got mine out, but there will be a plug that is right down in there that looks like this. So if the four bolt holes are here, 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 and here, your plug is going to be right there. And then you come right over into here. See this pong right here? You just push down on it, and I'll show it to you when I get it out. Take this, push it down, and pull out, and that will remove that. So now your regulator is technically free. Um, however, it is still attached to the window track, but what we are wanting to do is you can wiggle that up. You should be able to push up on this, and Ideally, something else that you I would recommend you doing uh, before you start yanking on your window regulator or anything like that, maybe take a couple pieces of tape, like some duct tape, and run them on the inside, up and around to the outside, and then up and around to the outside as well to heat this door glass up so that when you remove this window regulator, the glass itself doesn't come falling down. Chances are it's not going to break, but it's a good preventative measure to do. So after that, you should be able to wiggle this out, and I will show you how this sets in here. Let me pull this window down. All right, so this is the way that your window motor and regulator are going to be setting in the door. This little... Uh, circular wheel here if I can get the camera to focus on it that is what is going to be going right into this greased track right here and that's what actually helps your window or pushes your window up and down um, the way that this arm moves forward like left and right or forward up and down um, 
that is what is going to push this window up and down. And when you're putting this back together, you want to want to make sure that this gets. I can't really do it because it's out of the car or out of the door at the moment. But you want to put this little greased wheel into this slot, and then you'll be able to work it back up and down, and then align everything. When you're putting this one back in, make sure that you do have this bolt. Like if you're replacing this with a new replacement uh, regulator and motor, make sure that you put this bolt in. Um, just maybe, I don't know, let's say two to three turns, somewhere around there, just to where when you put it in, you can line it up with this slotted hole, bring it up through here, and then set it back. And then that hopefully will line up your other holes and make it to where you can bolt it in relatively easily. So after that, that's pretty much it. That's how you remove the window regulator and motor out of a 2003 through 2008 Toyota Corolla on the rear doors. Um, if you've got any questions at all, please just put them in the comment section down below. I'll get to them as quick as I can. And yeah, good luck on your project. Please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.